right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord. And I'm going to do a quick recap of the 2024 Detroit Pro Show prejudging. And um, I didn't do the live stream on this show. Uh, I know I, this is one show I skipped. Uh, the, the turnout was very low in this show, as you can see. And but still want to do a recap of the prejudging. And I will do a finals recap later this evening with a special guest that was on the ground at the show, Brian Nasser, great supporter of the show, friend of mine, and uh, he's going to be on. And we're going to get some details as to what happened at the expo, the turnout. I'll just leave it at that. We're going to leave. You got to watch the, the recap later tonight when I post that video. So let's break it down. I didn't watch the live stream, so I don't know who is particularly in the top five, but I'm going to go with justin rodriguez in that fourth place position again i could be wrong I didn't, I didn't watch the live stream here so i don't know how they were divvying them up through the the call outs and that and whatnot so justin i mean his conditioning looks good he looks full in some areas and then flat in others uh the conditioning looks to be improved from the arnold ohio the color, the tan, the oil, everything looks to be spot on. Again, the stage lighting and backdrop are great. So kudos to Fuad on that. That's the only kudos I'm going to give to Fuad at this show. And we'll discuss that more on the, the finals recap that we do. His waistline is the issue. It's just he's not getting around that. He's not getting any younger. He's getting older. And as he gets older, that waist starts to go to that, you know, the dad bod waist, where it's just it's that permanently <laughs> big waist you can't get around it so you can see in the delts there too a little bit weird they're not really popping in that shot so i got justin rodriguez in that fourth place position ronald gordon very tall athlete reminds me of joel stubbs if you guys have been in bodybuilding long enough you'll know who that is if you're not you don't know who that is but he was a freak of nature huge upper body just like this guy has but he's so tall that it's hard for him to get that quad sweep on those legs. But his conditioning is really, really good. But in some areas, it's not. We're going to see when he turns around. We're going to see some of the flaws to his physique. But the conditioning through the arms, the chest, through the legs. You saw the feathers in the legs when he was just standing there relaxed. Very, very good. Uh, just the unfortunate thing, he is very tall, so he needs to carry a lot of mass in order to look big, in a sense. He looks tall, but you can see he's the back development needs to come up. He needs more width throughout the upper back. In the, even the lower lats, he needs more density there. Conditioning is good. He needs to work on his posing. You see how his feet are side by side in this shot. Look at the, the lat spread, very weak there. He needs to add a lot of lat width there and he needs to put one leg back when he hits those shots not side by side that's not how you do it i know he's working with chris psycho lewis i think so you know those are little details that he should know but i don't know why he didn't do it there so martin i really like his physique the front of a bicep is good the biceps themselves need work they're not very peakish they're lacking in that sense not a lot of detail in the bicep area there from the front double he's got great roundness and fullness to his muscles the chest is great the delts and arms very very cut dense muscle there quads as well side tricep very well done as well one leg back i like that on him it looks good back shots again i'm just looking at this as i see it i haven't really had time to review anything but now i'm seeing it as, as i talk to you guys here Looks good. The back of a bicep is good. He needs to have the thinner skin on that back to make it pop more. If you compare that to like a Tony O'Burton back of a bicep, you can you would really see the difference there. I don't. I wouldn't see him beating a Tony O'Burton. That's for sure. The quads are great in the sense when he flexes them down. You can see the feathers in the quads. Great midsection, tight abs. You can pull the vacuum good. Great round quad sweep. I'm just trying to think, like, what is he missing in some of these shots? He's not really missing any body parts. He's pretty complete. He's got the calves. Just the biceps is probably what I would say. He's kind of, he needs to work on the biceps. But other than that, really 
well-rounded physique. I'm a fan of Martin's physique. Good Vito off the stage from Brazil back here now in Detroit. Good to see him there. You know, he's got a choppy physique. He needs to work on the triceps. That's one thing I, I notice from him. His tricep development is a little down. Back shots. He's got the best glutes and hamstrings in the business. I would say like, that's ridiculous. The back detail in thickness, the 3D muscle isn't really showing through. He needs to develop that. The lat spread, though, is a good one for him. He's got a lot of width on that back, but he doesn't have thickness. He's got width, but not thickness throughout the back. The quads are the best in the in the game right now. It's this Jay Cutler style quad. It's really crazy what he has. I would like to see him hit that most muscular differently, like change it up a little bit, put the hands on hip because he's so wide in the shoulders. If he did the hands on hip, most muscular would look ridiculous on him. Again, these are guys who have coaches that aren't telling them to do these things, which is you know, kind of sad to see. So we got some side-by-side -side comparisons. Thanks again to Gilco Productions for this amazing, high-quality video that they put out. This was awesome. You can see the density in Good Vito's quad, or sorry, hamstrings and glutes compared to Martin's. But then Martin has more of a rounded out back, dense when he does the back to the bicep. The, the rear lat spread, Good Vito's winning that shot. Most muscular, Abin Thigh. That's, that's a toss up between the two of them. Most muscular, I would give the Good Vito because he is more muscular in that shot because you have to include the quads. So breaking it down, like pose for pose, I would give Martin the side chest over Good Vito for sure. Most muscular goes to Good Vito. Their conditioning is is, is kind of similar. They have very similar physiques. Same height, look at the same height. So very similar physique, but the front double bicep I give to Good Vito. Back double bicep I would give to Martin. So this is actually a closer show than I think maybe people expected. I think maybe people expected Good Vito to really take this one with an easy win. But leave a comment below, guys. Who do you think is going to win this show, Good Vito or Martin? All right, guys, I will catch you on the next one for the full recap later tonight. All right, peace.